Joanne Ellis and her husband Jacob say their cat went missing more than a year ago. We looked for them for two days straight. We asked people about them. Nobody seen them. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared from where he should have went. Ellis says over the past two weeks, she knows of three or four cats that have gone missing. Some residents say kids in the neighborhood are to blame, but others aren't sure. I don't know that. I haven't seen them I'm doing anything. I have heard stories about them doing things to cats, but I really don't know myself. At Tuesday night's city council meeting, some were brought to tears as Juanita Drive resident Betty Pearson told stories of alleged animal killings. I called one of a in my yard. He had a brief that he always picks up in my neighbor's yard. He was trying to bash in the head of a squirrel in my yard. Kids in the neighborhood I spoke with say there are two children who are messing with the cats. The mother of those two kids got emotional at tonight's meeting. Their children, I know they are bad, but these things they're saying, I don't believe in my heart, and I don't. Killing, just going around killing cats, throwing them up, killing with bricks, I don't believe that. Tuscaloosa Police Chief Steve Anderson says there is an investigation into the alleged animal killings, but there is nothing that can be done at the moment because there is no proof. If they see these type of things, to get a camera and document this type of stuff so that we can have something. Anderson says the investigation is still ongoing. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Tyler Morton, WVUA News.